Light is key when it comes to macro photography. If you've got bad light, you're going to have a bad image. If you have got good light, you're going to have a good image. And that's where a diffuser like this Cygnus Tech diffuser comes in handy because it diffuses the light from your flash. And this diffuser, I can safely say, is the best diffuser I've used so far in my macro photography journey. The Cygnus Tech Diffuser is made by Brendan, who lives over in Australia. He has done a phenomenal job when it comes to designing a simple yet great solution for diffusing your light from your flash. Here is an image of a bare flash, and here is an image, the same scene, taken with the diffused light. I've said it hundreds of times in my videos, to get the best lighting, you need to diffuse your flash. And as I've said previously, this is a great diffuser and probably one of the best ones I've used so far. Now I've been using the diffuser for the entire summer here. So it's been about six months I've been using it. I've given it a good run in. I've tried to break it. I've tried to wear it out. I've tried to find any kinks or any issues with the diffuser. And quite honestly, I haven't found any issues. As you can see from the b-roll here there are some marks on my diffuser but that is because i've put it through its paces i've had this thing inside bushes trying to see if anything breaks and so far it's been absolutely solid and i can highly recommend the build quality of this diffuser is very very good using a diffuser has multiple benefits first of all it allows you to use a flash on the camera the more magnification you get in your setup the less light you get so you are going to need to increase the amount of light the best way to do that is with a flash. This is great because you can freeze an insect while it's running around or while it's flying. Or if you're not very steady with your camera, you've got shaky hands, a flash can help with that because it will freeze the scene, it will freeze the subject. If you attempt this with natural light, you're gonna to have to use a high shutter speed which will result in a high ISO and grainy and noisy images. As you already know, using a higher aperture to increase your depth of field is great but it can lead to diffraction as well so be careful with that but at the same time you're also again losing light so again adding a flash to your setup is very very good option for macro photography using a diffuser solves all of these problems and ultimately softens the harsh light of a bare flash and costs an even sheen of light across the subject reflective surface in short if you do macro photography a flash can benefit you a lot however if you use a bad diffuser for it like a pringles can your images are not going to be very good. So what I want you to take from this video is a good diffuser is a must-have on your list of gear if you're going to start doing macro photography. For you to get your hands on one of these diffusers, what you need to do is to contact Brendan. Now, formerly, you used to go on to Instagram and message him on Instagram. However, he's having a few issues. There's that many people messaging him on Instagram that Instagram is flagging them as spam so he's not receiving the messages so he's instructed me now to inform you that if you want to get in contact with him and buy a diffuser then to email him the email to use is cygnus tech diffuser at gmail.com send him a message via email to get the conversation started he'll ask you what camera what lens and what flash you're using and the diffuser will be custom made for your setup there are two packages available, Basic and Elite. The Basic is just your diffuser and the Elite gives you some added benefits. It has registered postage and tracking for insurance, an AA LED focusing light for nighttime macro photography. You can also skip the queue. You'll build the Elite ones before the standard ones and ship them out. You get a one year warranty. You also get a 12 page macro photography manual and this thing is great. It's got some great tips in there. It's a PDF file. It also tells you how to set up the diffuser, what white balance to use while using the diffuser. You've got a choice of black or woven carbon graphic color diffuser. I, I've got the carbon fiber. You get two silicon bands for the flash, a step up ring, and lifetime support from him and his support is very very good i would highly recommend that you get the elite package because it's got so much more in it that will help you with your macro photography let me jump in here real quick and ask you have you checked out my latest preset pack macro presets version 3 are ai paired presets for lightroom for photoshop and for mobile the presets are a great starting place when editing your macro photos Macro presets version 3 with AI powered selections. Check them out in the description below or go to stuartwood.com. Now, back to the video. Once you get your diffuser, it's going to come in a package like this. And this is brilliant because 
This package fits perfectly inside my laptop pouch in my bag. So it flat packs brilliantly. It only takes a minute or so to set up. So the first thing we want to do is we want to take our step up ring and place that onto your lens. Step two is the rubber band. We'll take that and put that over our flash. We'll take the front part of the diffuser, clip that onto the main shield, and then you've got this cord with a connector, connector on it. You just connect that up. It's magnetic, so it just clips into place very easy. And these pieces here, they slide into the rubber band. There we go. And once we've done that, we just loop the front part over the lens and then pull the cord tight and there we have our diffuser set up it's very very easy to set up and what's also good about this diffuser is you can alter the angle of the diffuser so if you're going to put a rainox onto the front of here you can pull it all the way back so that the diffuser is covering just the area where your insect is and then once you've done that you have to install the light all we do is we just tuck this light inside loop it up over it's got a velcro strap on it and then once we're there we bend the light so it faces towards the diffuser and then we can turn that light on and we have ourselves a focusing light and that it's it's awesome the led light helps you to focus when you're in a dark situation it's not just for nighttime macro photography quite often even a bright sunlight I find myself inside a bush or underneath a tree where the light is very dim. That comes in handy. So that's always on my setup, whether I'm photographing in the day or at night time. It comes in very handy. Without that light there, your EVF in your camera will try to compensate by either boosting up the ISO or reducing the frames per second so it can show you what the image is going to be like. And when it gets so dark, it's very hard to focus because your EVF just lags behind your movement. So having that LED light will significantly improve your hit rate when it comes to macro photography. So I do highly recommend you get the elite package with the elite you got a spare rubber band just in case and you also get a lens cap which will go straight onto the lens cap there so i never have to take off the step up ring i'll just leave it on and i'll just use that lens cap for when the camera is in my bag well that is all set up and ready to go and it's brilliant just look at the example image that you've seen every single image you've seen in this video has been lit using the Cygnus Tech diffuser. Let's talk about the pros and the cons of the Cygnus Tech diffuser, having been using it for about six months. Pros is it's a great quality light. Now you know I also use a custom diffuser on my Canon setup. The Cygnus Tech is one stop of light better than my custom made diffuser. It's lightweight, it doesn't add any weight to your bag, it flat packs very, very easily, so it's easy to transport around. And overall, the build quality is absolutely fantastic. Like I said, I haven't been able to break it yet, which is a great testament to the build quality. There are some drawbacks with the diffuser. One of the main drawbacks is the fact it's custom built for your setup. So if I change this setup now, if I, for instance, get the 90 millimeter for my Olympus, I have to get a new diffuser. But quite honestly, that's not really a big issue because the quality of light you're getting, I would rather pay and get another diffuser to get that quality of light. So it's not a big issue. Other issues you might find is if you're at maximum magnification and your subject is, for instance, on a bark of the tree and you want to get uh, straight up against it, you are going to be bumping against it. So all I'll find there is I'll just back off the magnification so that I can get the shot. After several weeks of using it, you kind of notice when you can use the diffuser or if you can't get a shot because of the bug being inside some sort of crevice where you can't get in there because of that. It's very rarely that I come across an issue where I can't get in there because of the diffuser. Now, unfortunately, Brendan doesn't have a website, so you can't just go onto the website, get prices. You've got to contact him. That might put off a few people but what i would suggest is bear with it because 
the benefits really do outweigh the negatives when it comes to the quality of light you are getting from this diffuser. Let's talk about price. It's 200 Australian dollars and I do get people messaging me about why it's so expensive. Let's say you buy an R5, that's what, a three and a half, four thousand pound camera. You buy the RF macro lens, that's one and a half thousand pound. But you're gonna moan about the price of a diffuser. The diffuser is one of the most important parts in your setup because that is what's gonna dictate what your light looks like. So my advice is to you is, don't make homemade diffusers, okay? Don't go for cheap diffusers. If you're gonna take your macro photography seriously, get a good diffuser like this Cygnus Tech One because believe me, you won't regret it. All the images you're seeing in this video have been taken using the Cygnus Tech diffuser and have also been edited using my macro presets that are also available from my website. So in short, if you're gonna take anything away from this video is get yourself a decent diffuser, you won't regret it. My only regret was it took me years to learn the secret of a good diffuser. I did homemade ones, I did cheap ones, I was always budgeting when it comes to my macro photography. Now, I guarantee you, as soon as I get, let's say the 90 millimeter macro, I'll be contacting Brandon and getting another diffuser because it's just, it's not worth skimping out on the diffuser because it is a very important part of your setup. And I don't leave the house without this diffuser anymore. It's the best diffuser I've used so far in my macro photography journey. So in short, yes, I absolutely do recommend this diffuser. And if you want to purchase one, then contact Brandon via Cygnus Tech Diffuser at gmail.com. I want to thank Brandon for sending over this Cygnus Tech Diffuser for a review. Have you got a Cygnus Tech Diffuser or are you thinking of getting one? Let me know in the comments below, but that's where I'm going to leave this video. I want to thank you for getting to the end of this one. And again, as always, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for sticking to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please subscribe and click the like button. It really does help out the channel. I want to thank my Patreon supporters for their continued support in supporting me and this channel. If you're interested in joining Patreon, then check in the description below this video for a link to Patreon. If you want to continue watching my macro journey, then click one of the videos in front of you now.